Granville T. Woods. Granville T. Woods was known as the Black Edison, both great inventors of their time. Woods invented more than a dozen devices to improve electric railway cars and much more for controlling the flow of electricity. His most noted invention was a system for letting the engineer of a train know how close this train was to others. This device helped cut down accidents and collisions between trains. Finally, his travels and experience led him to settle in Cincinnati, Ohio, where he became the person most responsible for modernizing the railroad. Dr. Leonidas Berry Dr. Leonidas H. Berry's career in gastroenterology began at Providence Hospital, an all-black hospital in Chicago. It was during Dr. Berry's second year as a gastroenterologist at Providence Hospital that he became fascinated with the idea of viewing the stomach through his gastroscope. A desire for training in the instrument influenced Dr. Berry to study under Dr. Schindler to learn gastroscopy techniques and procedures, gastroenterology, and endoscopy. George Edward Alcon Jr. The imaging X-ray spectrometer revolutionized scientific research for NASA, so much so that in 1984, Alcon was the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center Inventor of the Year. In 1973, Alcon was chosen to be IBM Visiting Professor in electrical engineering at Howard University, and he has held positions at that university ever since, rising to the rank of full professor. Alcon is also a full professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering at the University of the District of Columbia, where he has taught courses ranging from advanced engineering mathematics to microelectronics. Lida Newman Lida Newman, a woman rights advocate and inventor, is best known for a newly designed airbrush patent and an effort to fight for women's rights, particularly women's suffrage. Additionally, there was a compartment in the brush that debris such as dandruff and dirt would fall into and could easily be removed for cleaning. Harold Amos Harold Amos was the first African-American microbiologist and the first African-American department chair of Harvard Medical School. A curious and extraordinary student, Harold graduated top of his class from a segregated school in Pensacon. Later on, he obtained his undergraduate degree from Springfield College in Springfield with summa cum laude with highest honor in 1941. He majored in biology and did a minor in chemistry. Mary Van Britten Brown Mary Van Britten Brown was a brilliant African-American inventor ahead of her time. She created a home security system that became the first surveillance device in a long line of surveillance devices that continue to populate the security market today. Mary and her partner, Albert Brown, who was an electronics technician, applied for a patent for their invention on August 1, 1966. Their patent was filed for their home security system utilizing television surveillance, a closed-circuit television system known today as CCTV system. Their patent was granted on December 2, 1969. She created the first CCTV system to be used for the home monitor. Her inventions and patent evolved into all the advanced home security technology used today. Sarah Boone Sarah Boone was an African-American known for inventing and patenting the iron board. When Boone filed the application to patent her invention, she described the purpose of it as to produce cheap, simple, convenient, and highly effective device particularly adapted to be used in ironing the sleeves and bodices of ladies' garments. Dr. Betty Wright Harris Dr. Betty Wright Harris is a remarkable and accomplished African-American organic analytical chemist and inventor. A leading expert in explosives, environmental remediation, and hazardous waste treatment. Dr. Harris worked as a research chemist developing expertise in a variety of areas within explosives and nuclear weapons, hazardous waste treatment, 
environmental restoration of facilities contaminated with energetic materials such as propellants, gun propellants, and explosives, becoming an expert in the chemistry of explosives. Shirley Ann Jackson Dr. Shirley Jackson earned a bachelor, a master, and a doctorate all in fields of physics, becoming a theoretical physicist. She is the first African-American woman to earn a PhD from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in any field and the second African-American woman in the U.S. to earn a doctorate in physics. Dr. Shirley Jackson is also the first to be awarded the National Medal of Science in 2014. She is a recognized inventor. Her inventions have contributed to multiple advances in science. In the present, Dr. Jackson serves as the 18th president of the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, the oldest technological research university in the U.S. She is both the first woman and the first African-American in this position. James Edward Monsieur West Dr. West's invention of the first mic, officially known as the electroacoustic transducer electret microphone, was conceived while he was working for Bell's Labs. In 1960, West teamed up with his fellow scientist and colleague Gerhard M. Sessler to develop the idea. Arthur Zhang a Cameroonian engineer who developed Africa's first handheld medical computer tablet, which helps in diagnosing people with heart disease. Verone Manku Verone Manku is from the Republic of Congo. He invented the first African iPad rival. This tablet is affordable and available in Congo. According to Manco, his invention is to bring internet access to as many people as possible. And additionally, he also invented and created smartphones known as Elikia smartphones. Morris Mbetsa Security is a kind of development and urbanization which comes with all manners of challenges and hiccups. And in tackling this hiccup, Morris Mbetsa of Kenya invented an anti-theft device called block and track this block and track technology enables car owners to lock their car doors or stop their car when it's stolen via an sms <music>